Good morning, my name is Miss Gagliardi and welcome to our fifth grade class at Montrose Elementary School. Um, with me today I have Miss Arrington and Miss Current. Um, we're going to be doing a math lesson today on mean, medium, mode, and range and stem and leaf plots. Okay. All right. So today we're going to take everything that we've done so far in math and we're going to apply it in some um, review together and then some review stations. So to start off, we need to review everything we know about mean, medium, mode, and range. So to do that, we're going to do our song to help us get ready. All right? So if you don't remember the lyrics, they're up on the board. But if you do, sing it loud and proud, OK? Ready? Hey, hey little, 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 the mean in the middle. You add and divide for the mean. The mode is the one that you see the most. And the range is the difference between. Very good. All right, so now. We kind of remember what they are. I want you to turn to your partner and review our definitions and how you find the mean, median, mode, and range. Go ahead. We gotta put them in order. Cross them off and get to the middle. Very good. All right, three, two, one. All right, with the silent hand, who can tell me what is the mean and how do I find it? Jasmine. The mean is when you add up all the data mm -hmm. plus you divide by the total number of data points in the data. Great. What is another way that we can refer to our mean? The mean is also called what? Fair. Mark one. Fair share. The fair share. And it also is called what? Think about when I make do your report cards at the end of the nine weeks. I take all your grades, I put them together, and I find the what, Cheyenne? Average. The average. Good. So that is our mean. We add them all together. We divide by the total number of data points. Then we have our mode. mode. What is our mode, Shania? The, one, the mode is the one that you see the most often, okay? And that's simple as just looking at our data set and seeing which one is there the most. most. Mode most. All right, what about our median? What is it and how do we find it, Angelique? The median is the um, one in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you have to cross out each number to get to um, the, mid the middle value. And before I can cross off, what do I have to do to my data set? Oh, you put them in order. Order from least to greatest. Very good. And then we cross off. We get to our middle. And then what is my range? Kayla? The distance between your high value and your low value. Good. The distance between my high and my low. And how do I figure out my range? What do I have to do, Isaiah? You have to subtract. I have to subtract my high and my low value. Good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a data set. We're going to practice finding our mean, medium, mode, and range. We're going to practice putting our data onto a stem and leaf plot. So with a partner, I'm going to give one of you a calculator, one of you a whiteboard. You're going to be working together with our data set. So all you have to do is just wait patiently until everybody has their things. So the first thing that we're going to do with our data set is we are going to count our total number of data points, figure out our low value and our high value. Okay, so if you want to, you can put this on your board. If not, we can do it together. Okay. So let's count our data points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine data points. Of my <laughs> list, I'm looking for my lowest data point and my highest data point. What is my lowest data point, Shania? Five. five. And what is my highest data point, Darnisha? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Very good. Now, with this information, on your whiteboard with your partner, so remember you are working with the partner. You don't really need the calculator quite yet. You're going to take our data set and put it in order. You need to have, make sure you have nine data points. Your low has to be five and your high value has to be 35. Okay, so with your partner, go ahead and order and put these data points in order. Okay, so turn to your partner and work on that. I love that Jeremiah and Mark Juan are working together. Good job, Jasmine and Isaiah. Okay. 
So we're going to start with our low. Okay. Good job. I like that you're working together. So we got all nine of our data points. Maybe about 30 more seconds. Got all nine of our data points. Very good, Shania. Good job. Okay. All right, three, two, one. If you don't have your list, that's okay. We're going to do it together up here. So right now our calculators can be down. We don't need them quite yet. We're going to make sure that my list looks like your list and your list looks like everyone else's list. <coughs> so I'm starting with five. I used five, so I checked it. What is my next least value up here? Nine. 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 So I'm going to check it. Okay. After nine? Twelve. Twelve. Ten. Ten. Okay. And then I have 12. Twelve. Do I have any more in my tens? Yes. yes. What else do I have? Fifteen. Very good. Okay. So am I done with my tens place yes. where there's a one in it? So I should move on to my twenty. So what do I have next? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty-two. 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 Thirty-five. And thirty-five. Good. So I'm going to count mine. You need to count yours because everybody needs to have how many data points? Nine. Thumbs up when you have nine. So now that my data is ordered, I'm going to group it and put it on a stem and leaf plot. So I want you on your board to group it, but you don't have to make the stem and leaf plot on your board. So what I mean by group it, remember, is we're going to group it by our stems. So I would group these together because they have a zero in the tens place. So go ahead and group your data. Very good. I see we're grouping it in our zero in our tens place, our one in our tens place, one ten, two tens. Good job. All right, so after I group my five and my nine with a silent hand, what is my next group I'm going to make to or kind of organize our data? Maury? Okay, so what numbers are going to go in that group? Good. Okay. After that, I'm going to have... 20. What, Marquand? 22 and 27. 22 and 27. And then lastly, my... 32 30. 32 and 35. Good. So now I can take this information and put it into a stem and leaf plot. Remember, stem and leaf plot is my tens and my ones. So this is like my tens and this is my ones. So seven leaf plot breaks down my numbers by place value. So first, kind of got a tricky one here. What am I going to do with a silent hand for my five and my nine? What would go in my tens place? Isaiah? A zero. A zero. Okay. What would go, what would be my next ten? And then my next ten? Two. And then my next ten? Three. Do I have any more? No. no. Now I'm going to fill in my leaves, which is my, so my five and my nine, zero, two, and, 15, and five. Remember, I am trying to line them up to show that I have more, digit, more numbers in my ones row than I do in my zeros. Now I go to my 20s. I have a 22 and 27. Seven. And then my 30s. 30, 32 and 35. Okay. So I have everything lined up. So now that we have this data, we have it ordered. On your board, with your partner, with your calculator, you're going to be finding a mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, I'm going to give you about one to two minutes to do this with your partner on your board. You can erase what you have. I would keep my order data set up there because you'll, yep, you'll need to use that. You're welcome. Okay. Come on, will you scoot up next to mine? 
I can see we're putting all of our data points together. We're going to divide by our total number. So how are we going to we're going to do our mean first? Great. Great. So the meet, I love finding the median first. The median and the motor are, are easy ones to find. Very good. You caught my trick. Good job. So you, you found it with a decimal point, but you just circled our whole number. What could that round to? Remember, we're going to round it to our whole number. If it's 18.555, what would it go to? What would the 5 do to the... 19. Very good. Yeah, remember what you would do if your mean ends up being a decimal point. Good. So is my mode zero or is my mode no mode? Because if you're saying it's zero, that means that zero is a data point that is there the most. Is it? No. I like how we're working together. I see some of us aren't falling for the mode trick. I'm going to give you about 30 more seconds. All right, three, two, one. You can put calculators down and you can put markers down. All right, so a lot of us started with our median because we already had our list ordered. Some of us started with the mode, some of us started with the mean. So we're going to go through each of them to make sure that we all got to the same thing using the same strategy. So when I found my mean, what were my steps again, Darnisha? What did I have to do with all my data points? I added them all up and then I divided by what? What did we divide by? Nine. Nine. Very good. So when I added all my data points up on the calculator, and you are the calculator experts right now, and then I divided by nine, what did I get? Nineteen. Did I get exactly nineteen? No. Eighteen point five. I got eighteen point five, but we know we're going to round that up to nineteen. Good. All right, when I found my median, I'm going to use my list that I already have because I'm not going to make more work for myself. I'm going to start <coughs> one, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four. And what's left? 15. 15. All right, now for my mode. I saw a couple of us at first write zero. So if you wrote zero, you're telling me that zero is my data point that's there the most. Is that true? No. No. So what do I actually record for mode? No. None or no mode. Okay. And then my range, who can tell me with a silent hand how I can figure out what this is? Layla? So I took my high value, subtracted my low value, and I got 30. Great. All right. So now that we've reviewed, we reviewed the seven leaf plot. We reviewed how to find mean, median, mode, and range. We ordered our data points. You're going to get a chance to practice this. So while Cheyenne is picking those up, I want you to turn your attention so we can review our four different things we're going to be doing today. Okay. All right, so a reminder about the four different tasks that we have. Okay. We're going to be in four different groups. So you're going to be starting, everyone's going to be starting, your groups are going to be at a different one to start with. So. One group is going to start with our technology task. You're going to take out your Chromebook. It's in our Math School G page. You know right where to find it. You're going to be working on creating a stem and leaf plot on the carpet with Miss A. You're going to be doing mean, medium, mode range playing cards at the back table with Miss Current. And then with me, we're going to be doing some scenario sorting at my table. You, you're going to do one. I'll work with you. And you two. All right, so you're going to look. You're going to have all of your statements. 
get them out of the baggie, and we're going to sort them. I'll work with you since it's on number. Okay? So we're just sorting them into if it's showing us the mean, the median, the mode, or the range. So we're going to read it. We're going to decide what it's telling us to do. So which one do you want to start with? 15. Okay. So what's that one say? So flip them over, put them in order from least to greatest. So the most common height. You're going to put them in order from least to greatest. And then you can record it on your paper. Most common. Okay. Nine. Oh, you got a list. Two. The mean. Two. Ah, you got that word. The middle. So what does this one say? This category already is going to average her students' grades. So if I'm finding the average or the fair share, what am I finding? Good. Good. So if I'm finding the average of grades, that's our mean. Okay. Good job. Which one are we working on next? All right. Okay, we want to find out what dog is the most popular among younger dogs. Which measure the sensor would be the best way to share this information? So it says the most popular. Good job. Our mode. Yeah. All right, so let's see. What from this statement let you know that it was the mean? Like what is it what does it tell you to do? The average. Good. What about this one? I don't know. How did you know that that was the mean? He's finding out all the grades. He's finding out all of his grades. Good. All right. How did we know that this was our median? It's an odd number and it says, which is most popular? Mm -hmm. Okay, which is most popular? What about this one? This one says most popular. Most popular, okay. So this one says Jack wants to know how spread out his data is. So that's how spread out it is. That's our high and our low. He wants to figure out how spread out his test scores are. So we want it, we have the high and the low value. Okay. So don't glue quite yet. So you should have three in your mean category, one median. Two greatest. Most, most, most. Four modes and three in the range. Okay, so if you don't have that, you need to double check yours. I have gross. Okay. So these all should say the most common or the most popular. Okay. And you can glue. Yes. Six, six. Fifteen or fifty one. So this one's good. This is the most popular. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our lesson. Be safe. Be respectful. Be ready to learn. Thank you. Bye. Bye.